welcome back to my channel. I know it's a bit shaky, but here's my Node Red installation for my Sonoff Touch. If I press the button here, you look at the debug, it changes it. If I come over here, you now this one's a bit iffy because it takes a little bit longer. If I press that, it says injecting one. And then if I press one, injects it. So it does inject zero as well, but it does a double inject. I don't know why it's doing that, but it just does it. I'd say that is because I've got this set up up the top and it's actually showing it up twice. Now, I also have the hallway, which I can switch on and off. If I go back here, it just sets it there and that off and it sets it back over here again. So that's pretty much the flow that I'm using. Now my flow, I've copied one of the other guys on the net. He's done a fantastic job at doing this and it works really good with the Sonoff Touch. So the first thing I did was I set up because I'm using ESP, <coughs> ESP Easy, I've got to set the name of the actual device. So when you name it, you've got to remember that. You set that up here. And in this case, I've got a hash. So what it does is it looks for everything that's going to Sonoff Touch Hallway. In my case, you can name it anything you want. And I named it down here in the names. And I've set a priority on Q, QSO of two. Okay, now the second thing that you might need to do, if you're running running it on a server, you might need to do a cert, um, in my case it's not that, but um, you need to put a password in there. You can put a, um, a startup information if you need to check it for debugging and a, a will message, which is the end if it dies. So dim down hallway light. And um, that's pretty much it. So one will start up and the other one will, will stop. Now I've got a cat that's just attacking my um, Sonoff touch at the moment. And Tiffany, Tiffy, leave it alone. <laughs> anyway, um, so you go over to, you just need a standard debug. This is just a standard debug window. There's nothing very important there, but that will give you the output here and the current flow. I've got multiple flows here. Um, then you need to set up a, in this case, a string. So A is Z is a string and it's a zero. So you want to inject a zero into it. And guess what? This is a one. Okay, so that'll help you. And then you come along here and you go down to the bottom of the screen over here. And down the bottom, there is um, soft switches for your UI setup. And in this case, I've, uh, well, there's my address, well, who cares? Um, there's uh, where it's going to. There's a hallway light and it's a one and a zero. And it's publishing to this bit over here. Is it publishing to there? Or the last bit? We'll check it in a second. So we need to put this information in here for my hallway to send the message, global message, store current value. So just if you're having problems, just snapshot them so you can actually do it yourself. And there's um, where it's sending it to. It's sending to my Sonoff top Touch GPIO 12, and I'm calling it Hallway Light in my case. Okay, so back here on this, this flow, I know it's doing it quick, but I'm trying to do it quick so that you can, you'll be able to do it by just snapshotting it. Um, here's my Sonoff Touch button, in this case, switch. You can even get state. There's all this information is um, 
ESP Easy. You can get that off the ESP Easy site. Now, there you got the payload. Payload is one, and that's a switch. Okay. And then you've got to put this into here. So flip state. So we're doing it if global get sign off hallway underscore hallway equals one. Then we send a payload of zero. Else we send a payload of one return. Now I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is this is what one of the other guys is done, and it seems to work quite well. And this is just for my sign off. Um, touch now see I've got all this information here I can access that oh by the way when you do that you need to press the deploy button at the end so it will deploy the actual thing so then I can go over here and I've got uh, a number of different switches and bedrooms and stuff so far so yeah anyway um, I've got a at the moment I opened up a putty screen that he suggested to do to just check default it and you just put it on serial and you put it on the com port and you put put the uh, this on putty and then you set that to oh my god she wants to be in the show she really does she's like where can I press the button no I'm gonna press that oh no um, yeah you set that to uh, 115,200 board rate and that should be able to show you all this information here through putty okay so there's a couple of states that you can set up in the um, in the uh, ESP easy but I'm not going to show that at the moment but if you need to know about it, just give me a yell just give me a comment and I'll try and help you out uh, and give me a like a like if you like it and if you don't like it, give me one of those as well. And um, if I can find that guy that was that I got the information off, I'll, I'll list him underneath because he's fantastic and he's done a great job. All right, thank you. Bye.